G-Gable Radio has gone and done it again. They've taken an excellent product and improved upon it and given us more options. Let's grab one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the antenna system that is in my small emergency go bag because it is small. Small bag, small tripod, small antenna. The antenna telescopes to get me resonant on the frequency on which I want to operate. And then I have a telescoping whip to go with it. Looks can be deceiving, right? It's a six inch leg, eight inch radius, but these legs themselves a telescope out to about 15 and a half inches. And then because each individual leg will ratchet into three different locations, I can get all three of these legs flat in orientation to my antenna. And I end up with a radius of about 32 inches, plenty to hold my CHA SS17 or my MFJ1979. Before we jump over and look at the new offering from Gable, let me remind you this tripod can handle most anything. In addition to handling the Gable 7350T, which it was designed for, it'll take the toy box antenna. You can use it as a base for your wire antenna system. With one small adapter, it'll handle anything 3 8 by 24, like your MFJ1979 or your CHA SS17. It'll take the Wolf River coil. Yep, it'll work with the super antenna, and it can take the CHA micro. And with one final adapter, you can add the CHA F-Loop 2.0 to this tripod system. Exactly what is the difference between the old tripod and the new tripod? Well, there's no difference at all in the tripod itself. It's all in the posts that go into the tripod. Let's go ahead and grab the two new posts so we have them for comparison. First up is the SO239 that we're used to seeing with this tripod, only the cables in a different orientation. And hey, take a look at this, a 3 8 by 24 post, which accommodates all of our antennas here in the US. I've been informed by G Gable Radio that the original post with the SO239 on the top and SO239 for our feed line will remain on sale on their Amazon site until they stock out. I think there were about eight uh, in inventory today, December 20th, 2022. Remember this comes with um, some ring terminals so you can put them on here for your radial system. But enough about this, we need to talk about the new system. So same tripod, but what has changed is now we have two connectors and they orient different here in to the tripod. So instead of our feed line coming out the side, it comes out the bottom. And that is the primary difference. You tighten down on the nut and we connect our feed line. We put our ring terminals on here for our radials. We take the nut that comes with the system and now we can have up to five ring terminals here to accept are radials. And if you're familiar with the HOA ham radial system, you know that I use banana plugs and I go right into here with a set of three radials. Now, what about the alternate, the uh, 3 8 by 24 adapter? That's really the most significant difference or addition to the kit. So one change is we no longer have a strain on this cable coming out from the post at a right angle. It's now coming out the bottom. When you orient the legs flat, and they're extended all the way. The cable does bend, but I don't believe it's as much of a strain problem when it's coming out on, at a right angle. That's my opinion. But let's talk about this right here, because I think this is possibly one of the most interesting uh, upgrades and features of the new system. Now we have a 3 8 by 24. If you wanted to go 3 8 by 24 on the old post, you had to get yourself an adapter, which of course I've shown that adapter numerous times on my videos and I've become used to using that system. Gable has solved the problem. They've given us two posts, an SO239 to use with their antenna system, to use with the toy box and any other antenna system that requires this connection system. But most of us are used to our 3 8 by 24 and that's what we expect. So we take and remove the existing post and we add our 3 8 by 24. Now any antenna that has a 3 8 by 24 male thread automatically can go into this antenna system. Now comes two questions. The first thing I was wondering when I saw this was how in the world did they pull this off? Here, this is a radiating part of the element, this piece of metal right here. It's connected to this post. What did they do? And I must admit, I have no idea what they did. 
but my curiosity got the best of me. I had to get out the multimeter and just confirm that it was working as I expected. What are we expecting to see when we pull our 3 8 by 24 post from our tripod? Well, we know that the male stud on our antenna system is radiating RF, and that RF is radiating into the threads of this and down through our coax and out through the center of our coax. And then our outside is our shield or our ground. So this portion right here of this post, this entire silver part should be the radiating element. So when I put the multimeter to this, I should have continuity between this and the inside section of my cable. And then this will be my ground. Let's just see if everything is working out like that. I'm a huge fan of Kaiweek's multimeters. You get a great deal of value for your money, and I really like this tiny one. Of course, I had to buy a custom case for it because all of my gear has to have a case. It also works in an auto mode, and that's what we're going to set it up in, auto. And then it will automatically check for continuity, which is what we want here, all right? So we should have continuity between the center conductor of our coax line and the threaded uh, insert here, as well as the outside edge of this. So let's go ahead and check that out. Yep, continuity, we should have continuity right here as well. And we do, we do not want continuity between the center line and our connector. And we do not have continuity there. And we don't want continuity between that center line and this barrel. And we don't. And I guess that's what partially has me confused. I don't know how they created separation between the center insert and this barrel, but there is no continuity between these two. And we don't want that. That's good news. We have continuity here. That's what we would have uh, expected. All right, let's just check one more thing here. Outer shell here, which will be our ground, no continuity there. So we're in good shape. It's operating exactly like we would expect it to. Let's talk about getting radials connected to the new 3H by 24 post. This is my feed line. If you've been watching my channel and you've seen and adopted my method of ground radial systems for all of my portable antennas, you know that I'm now using an alligator clip and a banana plug system, and it adapts to all of my portable antennas. I'll leave that video in the description below as well as linked to the end of this video. So for me, I simply clamp onto the uh, outer connector, my SO239 outer connector, which of course is connected to the shield of my feed line. And now I am ready to install my banana plug and I've got a set of three radials ready to go. And because I set up my alligator clips with multiple or a minimum of two connectors, I can get six radials up on this rather quickly. So that's how I handle getting radials on this particular post. Another option would be to take a thin nut and run it past the threads on the SO239 adapter and let it free float at the end of that connector. Take some of the supplied ring terminals that Gable provides, and then you can either run a right angle adapter into the bottom of the cord or just run your feed line directly into this and then tighten down on it. And then you would have two ring terminals that you could clip your banana plug into. That is an, another option and a way to get radials on here. I have talked to Gable about looking at other options and developing uh, other ways for you in the future, but today this is what we have available. If you have other ideas of how to get ground radials on this system, please leave uh, some ideas in the comments below. I've done a lot of videos on this G Gable antenna system, both the tripod as well as the 7350 lightweight, small form factor, portable HF antenna, because it's small kit. It goes in my smallest of go bags. I don't always operate with things that small. For some of my other activations, I want larger gear, more robust, but when I'm going for my tiniest of go bags, this is it. 
you may be looking at one of my older videos and wondering why this tripod looks just a little bit different. So I wanted you to know they've added a new post system and they've added the 3 8 by 24. I'll link all my videos in the description below, as well as the video on how to make this antenna system, which works not only great with the G Gable system, but all portable antennas. You're not going to throw anything at this tripod it can't handle, and you're not going to throw anything at this radial system that it can't handle. Hope you found this useful. Talk to you soon, friend. 73.